So it's it's probably what uh, it's probably the first thing that any social work student is taught, which is people just want to be heard. <laughs> you know that I mean, that's I mean they they want to tell their story, um, and and the the emotion the emotion comes out in the story about uh, you know this tree. Um, you know, that keeps dropping all of this crap on, you know, my lawn and on my car. And, um, uh, you know, that, so uh, earlier today I was, I was talking to somebody about their birch tree. Birch trees drop lots and lots of stuff. And um, they were wondering whether it was time to, you know, to cut it down. And, and I looked at it and, and I, I said, yes, they are dirty. Uh, but this tree is still a really healthy tree. And, um, and, and the, way, the way that you can look at it is uh, the, the beauty of the tree is, um, is something that you can continue to, uh, to appreciate. And part of the price is just this stuff that falls down. So, you know, enjoy the beauty of it. And, and let's look at it in a couple years. Let's look at it again in four years. Um, and, and let's see whether it's deteriorating. And let's see how you feel about it then. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to tell them, no, it can't come down, um, but I was, I was trying to help them see this tree um, in, a different, in a different light, um, and, and, and I wanted to hear what their experience of it was. Um, and, and I find that often, if, if I'm able to listen carefully, um, then, then most of the work has been done. Uh, there, there's been some venting of frustration about a tree. Um, and usually, with, without me even prodding, uh, the story then turns, and, and, and after venting about the tree, people will say, but I, I, like, I like this about the tree. This is something that I like about the tree. And then, and, and, and then my job is done. <laughs> I mean, I, we, we can offer to, to work on the tree, to help clean it up in some ways. Um, but, but then it becomes livable uh, and workable.